Hey guys, welcome back and um, today's chapter is about a two-dimensional array. Um, a two-dimensional array is nothing but an extension to a one-dimensional array that we've spoken about not too long ago on one of our previous videos. So let me demonstrate an example quickly by jumping down to the developers tab and Visual Basic. So how do we define a two-dimensional array? So let's, let me give you an example. Let's say um, two-dimensional array as string. So as you would define a one-dimensional array with the index, it's pretty much similar. You just add a comma and you define the second part of it. So what this basically means is that um, this one talks about how many number of items that your array can hold and the second part of it talks about to that item, how many items can that item hold. So in this instance, let's increase this to 2. So in this example, what this means is um, the first index of this array, which is nothing but um, 0, 0, can only hold one item. So since we've only defined this as a 0, but if we were to increase this by 1, the first index of this item will then have a capability to hold up to two items to it rather than holding one item to it. So um, let me demonstrate an example by running a loop. So um, before that, just before that, um, since we've, we've got a capability of holding up to three items over here, um, we could also proceed and continue writing this by changing the index number on the left side and um, this can be the same this wouldn't overwrite the previous data because this is directly proportional to um, the index number on the left side and um, let's keep one more which is the last one um, now let's assign the value of a and b here we can see c and d here we can see a, e and f so now let's quickly run a loop and see how this looks um, as this is a two-dimensional array so let's say for i equal to zero to u bound which is nothing but the total number of elements held by um, an array and let's define i as an integer in order to successfully run this loop now in this loop let's say message box um, two-dimensional array i is zero which is the first one which should be the a and um, let's say um, the second one which is i and one which is the um, which should be b so um, in total this loop should run um, three times starting from zero to two and um, the first set of message box that we, sh we should see should be a and b the second set of message box that we should see is c and um, D and the third set of message box of course should be E and F um, so if we try running this sub right now as we can see we've got the first set which is A and B we've got the second set which is C and D and we've got the last set which is E and F and our loop ends so guys this is pretty much how um, a two-dimensional array works it's extremely useful you could might you might as well um, put a lot of data in it you could assign several item capability to a particular index depending on your requirement I've just kept one or two rather just for demonstration but anyways guys thanks for watching this video hope it was helpful and please stay tuned for more take care